Good morning, everybody. Morning, everybody. Weren't expecting it to start off like that. Now, were you? Don't worry. That's as far as I'll go. Don't worry. You don't have to cover anybody's eyes. This is it. This is all you get. I'm back in the truck. We're uh, continuing our trip down with those uh, loaders to Alberta. I got my first drop in Lethbridge tomorrow. I've got my second drop in Killam, Alberta. My third and final drop in Beggarville, Alberta. Get these things off my trailer, they're weighing me down, I don't like it anymore, I want to get rid of them. But we're about halfway there, I haven't set up anything in my truck yet, I just threw everything in here and we're gonna head down the road, because that's life with a newborn. It's hard to get out the door first thing in the morning, everything takes longer, but that's a good thing. It's okay, never complaining. Having a newborn is definitely one of the bigger challenges we've ever had in our lives, but it's one we wouldn't change for anything else, right? It's the best, biggest challenge ever. But it does take up a lot of my time, so I didn't have time to set everything up in here right now, so I threw everything in the back. I'm gonna get moving down the road, and as we move towards Lethbridge, I'm gonna stop and slowly start organizing everything and putting it where it belongs, because this is gonna drive me nuts. But uh, that is what it is. Let's, uh, let's get moving. Oh, of course, it's another windy day. I've been fighting the wind for uh, over a week now. Last week I was fighting the wind because it was coming from the south. And as we went south, we were going directly into it. So I was like, all right, well on the way home, I'll be able to put out the sails and just fly home, right? No, 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 no. As soon as I picked up my load in Davenport, oh, the wind decided to change. Now it was coming from the north. Okay. So I fought the wind all the way home. And I went home for a day to reset there, right? So I parked the truck in the shop, I'm like, well, next week is a new week, you know? Next week the winds will have changed and everything will be better. Oh no, 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 they got stronger. The winds are stronger, they're still coming out of the north. So it'll be, I'm fighting the wind north right now going around the west side of Winnipeg. And then I'm gonna turn west and head towards Alberta. I wanna make it past Medicine Hat or to Medicine Hat, Alberta tonight. That's the goal. If we get past Medicine Hat, hey, we're overachievers. It's, it's at least a 10 hour drive to get there. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe we'll get to Brooks, I don't know. But we're gonna be uh, struggling with a bad crosswind all day. So as I'm saying this right now, I'm looking at the clouds and they look to be sort of moving to the southwest, coming from the northeast now. So we might have a little bit of a tailwind and maybe I'm complaining a little too early. We'll see what happens, but I am getting a little bit tired of fighting the wind. It's very hard on my wallet, but it is what it is. We gotta keep trucking, right? Somebody needs these tractor parts out in Alberta. And if I don't bring it to them, these farmers are not gonna be happy. And you don't want the farmers not to be happy because they make your food, okay? You don't wanna mess with the food because I, I like eating, you may have noticed. I really like eating. It's one of my top favorite things to do, unfortunately. So you don't want to mess with the farmers. You got to keep the farmers happy. And in the same respect, you don't want to mess with the truckers because, you know, everybody's important. Everybody. You also don't want to mess with the people who make these things. I guess we can go all the way down the line. You just don't want to mess with anybody. But for me and my responsibility, I want to make sure these farmers get their parts as quickly as possible. So if that means fighting the wind, hey, that's part of the job, that's what I gotta do. Maybe it'll get 
better as we get into Saskatchewan later today. Maybe the winds will die down or shift in our favor. Because like I said, judging by the clouds right now, we might actually have a tailwind. But that's very rare for the winds to be coming out of the east in Manitoba here. Usually the winds come out of the north, the west, or the south. Very rarely do they come from the east. You can always tell what weather is coming. If the wind is coming from the north, cold weather is coming in the next few days. If it's coming from the south, warmer weather is coming in the next few days. If it's coming from the west, well, look at whatever Alberta is going through and that's what's going to be happening in Manitoba in a couple of days. But very rarely do we have winds coming out of Ontario. That's just the way it is here. I think we've gotten lucky. The wind has died down. Or maybe it's at my back. It's hard. I gotta sort of look at the grass and the ditches to see which way the wind's blowing. But I'm definitely not fighting it. So that's good. We just passed Brandon, Manitoba. Obviously, we're headed westbound. We're making pretty good time. So we're gonna make it to Medicine Hat at least. Provided everything goes well. I have 13 hours I can drive today, and that's a 10 hour drive. I'm gonna stop in Balgoni, Balgoni Baloney. Almost forgot I used to call it that all the time. Balgoni, we're gonna stop in Balgoni, Saskatchewan, just east of Regina. Grab some fuel and uh, maybe organize this truck a little bit here. All my stuff is still all over the place. I need to stop and put everything in its place because it stresses me out. <coughs> stresses me out and uh, builds up my anxiety when. Everything's a mess. Or things are dirty. I'm not, I don't think I'm actually anywhere near OCD. Sometimes I joke about it. That, oh yeah, I'm so OCD. I like everything straight and clean. I wouldn't say that I am OCD. I just like things to be proper, you know? I like them to be clean. I like them to be straight. But if they're not, I can live with it. But I don't like it, you know? I'm not as happy. So I prefer to be happy, so I try to keep things clean as often as I can and, you know, park my truck straight. But, you know, if it's not clean, it's not like I'm gonna, like, go into, like, a mental breakdown. That's what I'm trying to say. I do what I can. Musselman! 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 <clears throat> Potholes! Potholes. Careful, they'll swallow you whole. This is the co-op truck stop in Mooseman, if you haven't gathered. There's the Timmy's. I gotta get a coffee. And organize my truck a little bit. Take a little bit of a breather, a little bit of a break. Load myself up on some caffeine and keep on going. Oh, they put up a fence here now so that people stop backing up into that person's yard. I see. I see. Uh -huh. Good fences good, make good neighbors. I don't want to say that. I'm park way up here beside Mr. Ponder. You'll see him in a sec. Aha! Uh -huh, front row! Look at this! I never get to park here. Nice! Now we can be lazy not have to walk so far. All right. It was always a nice place to stop. Timmy's. Oh, stretch it out. Oh, I gotta do up my belt. One second here, pardon me. When I'm driving, I undo my belt and my button. What? You do it too. Don't look at me like that. Don't lie to me. Uh, all you gotta do is remember to do it up before you jump out of your truck, because most times I forget and I start <laughs> walking in. I look down. Oh! Ho oh, oh. ho! Whoops! Oh, so you can see in the back. I'm not sure if you can, actually. Uh, yeah, you can. Everything's all over the place. My sheet's not even on the bed. It's terrible. It's driving me crazy. So, we're going to get everything cleaned up. 
organize a little bit here, take a little bit of a break. I am off duty right now. And then once I, I feel a little comfortable, we won't do it all now, we'll just get a start. This, this whole trip, and especially today, my whole goal is to, every time I stop, make things a little bit better. So we're gonna get the bed set up now. And then we're gonna go grab Tim's, we're gonna head down the road, probably stop in Balgoni next, uh, just east of Regina. I'm gonna grab fuel there, and then I'll, uh, you know, maybe organize my food shelves up there a little bit, just, just a little bit. Spend like 10, 15 minutes just organizing a little bit, and then continue on down the road. And then by the time I get to Lethbridge, I should have everything in its place where it's supposed to be. And then, after that, I need to get into the habit of every time I stop, I clean one thing. So I stop, okay, I clean the dashboard. Once the dashboard's clean, okay, I go down the road. Okay, the next time I stop, okay, I'm going to clean the doors. Right? Just something small. So every time you stop, you clean something. So that everything, you need to sort of rotate through everything so that every, everything sort of gets cleaned. You know, the next time you stop, maybe, uh, you know, well, Wipe down the shelves in the back. Maybe you quickly vacuum the front, and the next time you stop, vacuum the sleeper. All right, make sense? I'll try to keep things clean, because I know I'm happier when things are clean and organized. It doesn't have to be clean and organized. I'll, I'll manage, I'll cope, but I'm just happier. I've noticed that, and it's something I can't control. So if I just want to have a better day, I, I have to do these, and even though I don't feel like cleaning, I don't feel like cleaning much, I, I hate it, really. I hate taking time when I could be working to clean things, but it just makes me feel so much better when I do actually take the time, which sort of makes me like it because the end result is what I'm going for. All right, so believe it or not, that is more organized than there was. All right, got my cooler off there, got the bedding on. There's just nowhere to put my bags. There's very little storage in this truck. There is some, but I need to reorganize that, and that's for another stop. Now we need to hit the road again. Go-Go Juice! 
Let's go, go juice time. I need some diesel fuel. I'm at an eighth of a tank. It's a fuel price here. Dollar sixty three nine. Nope, dollar sixty two nine. Dollar six. Don't try to fool me like that. I ain't no moron. Dollar sixty three. There is no such thing as point nine of a cent. They're trying to trick you. Oh, I guess I should turn off all my cameras here. They're all still running. I'll just leave this one on because I'm talking to this one. I'm not talking to that one. This battery needs to be replaced too before I forget. Okay, okay. Right, what's going on here? These batteries. It's constantly, constantly changing batteries. Doing this, doing that. Setting this up, setting that up. I like to have everything rolling before I roll, you know? Then I don't have to mess around with it. There we go. Fresh batteries. How do you feel about that, GoPro? Good for you. I don't need these. I don't need these. What's going on here? Where's my case? Ah, uh, yes, I put the case down here. It's right where I left it. It's right where I left it. Put my regular lookers on. So I can see the world. Ah. Oh, they're dirty. Oh, they're always dirty. Why are the glasses always dirty? That is a, like, a real struggle forever and ever for the rest of my life unless i get that crazy laser eye surgery you know my mom got that surgery she used to have glasses most of her life she got that uh, lasik surgery or this the eye surgery now she doesn't need glasses it's amazing amazing what they can do right they fix your eyeballs i just i don't like the idea of them messing around with my eyeballs i only got two of them and i want to keep them both it makes me nervous but she did it and she was fine and she turned out better her eyesight turned out better and she turned out better Everything came. Uh, everything was better. I don't know. I don't know. Have any of you had that eye surgery so that you don't need glasses anymore? Because you know the, the great thing about these lenses is that you never have to clean them. They clean themselves. Wouldn't that be awesome if we could get like eyeglasses that would clean themselves, like you know, with little like automatic wipers or something? Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be ridiculous though? You're just walking along with little wipers on your glasses. Oh yeah, you get a lot of attention, that's for sure. I don't know if it's the right attention, but you'd have attention. All right, let's get out there, let's get out there. Not supposed to park there, Ponder. Painter, Ponder, Ponder, Painter. Not supposed to park there. You are not supposed to park there. There's a whole parking lot of empty parking spots, my friend. A whole parking lot. Probably about 50 empty parking spots. That's not a parking spot. Oh well. Not my problem. Let's get back out there. We filled up with 674 liters. 178 US gallons. Cost me about a thousand forty seven dollars Canuck money. Probably about eight hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars US money. And that got me here from where did I fill up? I filled up at the Loves in Valley, Nebraska. So we went all the way to Davenport, picked up this load, and came all the way up through Winnipeg, or past Winnipeg, meters, to Balgoni right here. On Highway 46 and then, at the roundabout, take the first exit. Karen, you have to stop talking over me. Seriously, I'll throw you right out the window. I don't care what HR says. I'll throw a woman out the window. You done? Okay, so it got us all the way here. It was 1,544 kilometers. About a thousand miles. In 100 meters, turn right on Highway 46 and then, at the roundabout, take the first exit. You see, that was progress, Karen. Wait your turn to talk. Thank you. We're making progress. I like that. Getting better. For some reason, this traffic light is a four-way stop now, which confuses me. At the roundabout, take the first exit in 300 meters. It looks like somebody dragged their trailer right over that, uh, is there one lane here? Is there two lanes here? I don't know. 
Someone dragged their trailer over the light pole there and knocked it over. They haven't fixed it yet. Wonder who did that? Anybody know what happened there? At the roundabout, take the first exit. That was close, Karen. That was close. I'll forgive that one. Don't swear at me. This is a family channel. sort of bigger town city before we hit Alberta. Alberta is about another hour or two down the road yet. And Medicine Hat is maybe another hour. I don't think it's three hours from here, is it? I totally forget. I'm going to have to check the map. No, it's a couple of hours from here yet. So I've got a couple more hours to go. I'm just stopping here to stretch my legs a little bit. Let Old Blue rest. Let myself rest. And then we'll be on our way. Just doing some organizing. And just listening to the hum of the tires of all the trucks fly by here. I'm at the Esso truck stop on the west side of town. And of course I walk out to stand closer to the highway to listen to the trucks go by. And of course now there's no trucks. No one on the highway. There's someone coming there, but that's not a big truck. And that's how it is, right? Now here we go. I just had to walk back to my truck a little bit and then they all come. There we go, let's listen. It's a B 
beautiful sounds of the night. Okay, now we need to get going. Now I'm happy. Got my fix. Just a short little ways to go yet, so let's keep going. I'm pretty sure we can easily make it to Medicine Hat. Well, we made it. Medicine Hat, Alberta. Flying J. I saw some parking spots available on the drive past here. On my way up here to the driveway. Even though all of these guys are parked all along here, making it seem like the parking lot must be completely packed, right? Now, these guys are just the guys that didn't want to back into a parking spot. Or they couldn't because they got pikes, like these double trailers. They can't exactly back into a normal parking spot. There should be special truck stops for them. But that, I guess that would be a huge expense, you know. But all those nice spots along the side are taken up. So we're going to have to actually uh, back ourselves into one of these back here. I don't need fuel right now, so I'll just thread the needle here nice and slow. Through the pumps. And I'll grab one of these spots back here. I'm straight. I had to readjust myself. My first attempt, I got in to this parking spot. I had to back into this parking spot between these two trailers. First attempt, slipped it right in there. That wasn't the problem. The problem was after I was in here, I came and looked at my parking job. And I was crooked. I still looked a little bit crooked. I thought I fixed it. What is going on here? Does that look straight to you? I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's straight enough. I mean, it may not be straight as an arrow, but... It's like 12 or 1 in the morning. Maybe it's 2. I don't really know what time it is. It's late. I don't really know what's going on. I know I'm in Medicine Hat and that I'm tired and that uh, diesel fuel is a $1.419 sign. Alberta always has the cheapest fuel. Because Alberta knows how to do it right. If we all just copied Alberta, things would be a lot better. But, hey. You wouldn't know what's better if you didn't have something that was better, right? If it was all the same, well, well it's all the same. That doesn't make any sense. I'm tired. Come a little closer here. There you are. Hi. End of the day. So thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you know the drill. Hit that like button if you do like my videos. I appreciate it. Helps me with the algorithm. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, Whatever's on your mind helps me again with the algorithm. And if the algorithm thinks that a lot of people or sees that a lot of people are engaging with my content, it automatically shares it with more new people. So that's one easy and free way to help me out if you do like my videos. I do appreciate that very much. I'm tired. I'm going to hop back there into the bed. I'm going to get under the covers. and I'm going to be sleeping before my head hits the pillow. I promise. But don't worry. I stayed awake until I was parked safely and straight straight as I, I'm pretty sure I'm straight. Unless my eyes are crooked, I'm straight. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.